Hello my friends, I hope you are doing well. This video is being recorded live and I am so excited because today I get to tell you about six new planner arrivals that are now in the shop at tanyaplans.com. Now, anyone who places an order in the next 48 hours, I will include a free planner item in your package and also you can save money with discount promo code Tanya plans 20. So I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first new item that I want to show you is this beautiful Gina binder. I'm so excited guys. And the reason I'm excited, especially about this one, this is the first leather offering that I have offered in my shop. So this is a leather binder. It has this beautiful blue color. It is pebbled and I love the stitching on it. It looks so professional in my opinion. So I'm just gonna show you that. Hope you love it like I do. This is the spine and this is how the back looks. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go as quickly as possible because I have a lot to show you. This binder features a strap closure and I like strap closures because that way you can adjust the strap. So if you have a lot of planner pages or lesser planner pages, it can be adjusted with the strap. So let's take a look at the inside configuration here. So you have lots of organization on the inside. Now what I'm showing you now is the classic size. I also have another size I'm gonna show you right after this. Now, a classic size is similar to an A5 size. For some of you, that helps with the size comparison. So you get two elasticized pin loops, so it's elastic on the back. And with that, that means that you can put in thinner or thicker ink pens. There is a pocket here, a deep pocket there. We can put in documents. There is a zipper here, and the zipper is gusseted. It expands out. On the back here is leather. Sometimes people try to skimp and don't put leather behind in the behind things. There is leather behind here. You have multiple card slots. And again, this is the classic size configuration. And you have a see-through ID card slot. Okay. On the back cover, you have a large pocket and you have four smaller pockets here. So now let's talk about the ring configuration. So in this binder, you get removable rings, okay? So that is a feature that a lot of other planner companies don't provide you where, and then if the rings wear out, you kind of almost have to buy a whole new binder. This is an investment where you can always replace the rings if you have to. And I sell replacement rings in the shop. So there are removable rings. This is the seven ring configuration on this binder. That means it fits Tanya Plan's classic size inserts. It fits Franklin Covey's classic size inserts. Yes, it fits Franklin Planner's inserts. And it fits desk, Day Timer's desk size inserts. And it fits simplified inserts. So you have some different options there with the inserts. So now let me show you the ring size. I get that question a lot. And I'm generous with the rings here. The rings, the inner diameter of the rings is one and a half inches, okay? Hope you love it. I love it, love it, love it. Look how it lays flat there. So let me show you what else you get because this is actually a bundle. And without charging you extra, I included leather accessories with your binder. So this is a zippered, a leather zippered pouch that you get. Let me just show you something here. Notice how these holes are oval. That makes it easy for this to go over your rings, okay? You got that, that makes it easier to turn. And then you have your zipper here. You can see inside of there. And then on the back, if you like, there are some card slots, some stitched card slots, if you would like additional space for putting additional cards. You also get, included with the bundle, is a leather ring protector. 
Now, a lot of people ask me questions about this. They're not, they don't know, oh, what is that? Okay, so let me show you. I like to switch my binders out from time to time. And when I switch my binders out, and let's say, because this is an investment, okay? This is an investment in you. When I like, when I switch my binders out, and this is, let's say you put this on the shelf for a while, do go to another binder and then come back. You can use the ring protector to protect your rings from, to protect your binder from getting ring dents. Have you ever seen those ring dents from when you had your binders closed, closed for too long? So when you're storing it, you can use the ring protector like this. And that way you won't get the ring dents. Okay? So I thought that was a nice thing to include for you there. Okay? So now let's go, let me show you the next size that is also available. So this is the classic size. Oh, and look at this. The Gina also comes in the compact size. So if you prefer a smaller, more portable option, this is the person. Yes, this is leather. Yes, my, my daughter is helping me out here. She said someone had a question about if it's leather. This is real leather. Both of the, Everything is real leather here that I'm showing you. So this is the compact size. This is the classic size, just so you can see a size comparison there. So with the compact one, it looks similar to the classic. There's the spine, there's the back. Let's open it up here. All the hardware is silver, by the way. And this is how the configuration looks on the inside of the compact binder. A little slightly different, but not too much. You have your two elasticized pen loops. You have a pocket here for documents. You have your gusseted, your expanded zipper pocket here. You have a little fewer card slots because it's a smaller binder. You have your card slots here, and then you have a vertical see-through ID card slot. On the back cover, you have three pockets, okay? This also comes with removable rings. And I, I, if you prefer larger rings, I sell that in the shop. Can someone ask, can it handle 1.5 inch rings? If you do that, I would use the ring protector that comes with it because you would probably more than likely get ring dents, okay? So the, and I forget to, ask, to answer this question all the time, but the size of the rings are 1.2 inches. I'm gonna make sure you see that. So this is the compact binder. The size of the rings are 1.2 inches. And this is the six ring. You notice there are six rings here. This is the six ring configuration. It can fit Tanya Plant's compact inserts, which I'm about to show you new for the first time. It can also fit Franklin Planner's compact inserts, and it can fit personal size inserts from almost any planner company, okay? So let me now show you the second new item in the shop, oh wait, I wanted to show you the accessories that come with the compact one. So this is just so too, just too cute. So this is the zipper pouch that comes with the compact binder. And this is the leather ring protector that comes with the compact binder, okay? So now let me show you the second item that's new in the shop. And they are, I love these. They're these beautiful vellums. Oh gosh, isn't that beautiful? And it matches the Gina. I love it. And you also get, you get two. Two in a pack. Both match. Okay, somebody's asking questions with the 1.5 inch rings. You know what? Let me do a separate video showing that I'll, where I'll switch these out. Because someone asked about the size of, my daughter's telling me about the size and if something will stick out. So I'm not sure. So let me do a separate video on that and then I will, um, and that should answer your questions, okay? How, you said, what's the... 
was the width of the binder open flat. Okay, so this is the compact binder. I don't have a real long. So this is 12 inches here. And then if I'm gonna try to put my finger here, 12, 13, maybe 13 and a half, 13 and a half open flat. So hopefully that will help, help you some there. Okay, thank you all for your questions. Thank you so much. So these are the beautiful vellums. The vellums are laminated, okay? And let me just show you how beautiful they look. Now they can be used alone, or they can be used where they complement the third item that I wanna show you. This is our third new arrival. They are the monthly tab dividers. So you can use the vellums alone, but, or, you can use them together with our tab dividers. The vellums are semi-transparent, so you can read through them, okay? And so it looks really pretty because they're made so that the sands on the tabs will shine through, okay? So this, so for example, on our monthly tabs, these tabs are sturdy and they're waterproof and they're very minimalistic, very minimalistic. Again, I have problems with my eyes, so I try to minimize the amount of clutter and stuff on my planner pages. So the first one says, and these are, positive, are meant to be positive sayings. The first one says, make yourself a priority. So let me show you how the next one, the next one says, think positive. Let me show you how this vellum looks with it. And that's how think positive looks with it there. So I'm going to quickly go through these sayings. Um, they say, think big. Self-love is never selfish. Invest in you. I like that. Be yourself. Take time for yourself. Spread kindness. See good things in all things. Be determined. Be patient. Choose happiness. Okay? So next, the... Fourth new item that we have in the shop. I'm so excited to show you these guys. These are the new Tanya Plans compact planner inserts. And let me tell you, you get a lot for your money. So if you look at the thickness of this, it's an inch thick. And the thing with my inserts is I try to give you everything. A lot of other planner companies I've noticed, you got to buy extra this set, this set. I'm, you'll see in a minute. I'm trying to give you everything with these planner pages. All different formats. You don't have to choose. Oh, look, you got a sneak peek of that habit tracker. Oh, it's coming up. I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is what I mean by I think I'm giving you all different formats. Because sometimes, don't you have trouble trying to choose which planner format you want to use? Okay, watch this. So you get two annual calendars. The color. Oh, it's not black. Uh, somebody uh, asked the question. The binder is blue. Let me try to put it up close here. It is a beautiful blue color. Okay. The Gina is blue. So, um, so let me show you some of these planner page formats that you get. Now this, I love this format from Warren. I'm tracking woman related things. And because it makes it easier to count the days with this format. So you have your months across here. So this is April, this is May, June, so on and so forth. And then you have your days of the month listed vertically, okay? So when I have to count, it's a lot easier to count vertically than it is to count across like on a regular, trying to get to the page. Like when I'm counting across, I get confused because of the extra day, you know, stuff like that. So I like to have this type of format for when I am tracking things. It can be used for many different, wait, in many different ways. So you have six months on these two pages and you have six months on these two pages. These planner, the compact planner goes from April this year, so you can use it now, and it goes through March 2024, okay? So each month is similar. So at the beginning of each month, 
you have a monthly overview page and then you have a section and you may have seen this on my social media with my classes size inserts but you can plan your month in advance to make sure you get those things done that you really intend to do it's kind of like pre-planning so i can have a section for personal a section for work a section for business and a section for my children, for example. Some things I want to accomplish for the month. Over here, I like to write the books that I read for the month. I'm a big book reader. I read a lot. So I use that for that, but you can use it for other purposes. So you get a month across two pages, Very a very minimalistic design. It includes the holidays and moon phases. You have light vertical lines to keep your handwriting straight. So pretty much each month, oh, and on the back you have a section for two lists. And I didn't want to label these lists because people have different lives. I didn't want to say work up here, for example, and personal because some people are retired or have other things going on and they can use these list pages for how they would like. So I'm going to quickly go through these. I don't want to spend too much time because I appreciate your time. I appreciate you taking the time to be with me today. So you get this vertical format. I like the vertical format. When I did research, I found that this format is great for time blocking and it allows people to be most productive with this format. Now, this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Because of space, Saturday and Sunday shares a column. In my bigger classic size inserts, Saturday and Sunday has a separate column of its own. Now, it starts with 6 a.m. and at 9 p.m. Now, don't get too caught up on the times because if you have a longer day, I'm about to show you something on another planner page that you can use. I sometimes hear that. Someone's like, oh, my day starts at 5 a.m. or it ends late. I got you, okay? So on these planner pages also, you have holidays and moon phases. So I'm going to quickly go to the next section here. Now, also, if vertical isn't your thing, it also includes a horizontal format. Now, this format, you can use it as planner pages. It is undated. Or you can use, and I like to use it for journaling, to think about the things that I've done for the day. Like, I like to summarize my day so I can remember what I did. Because I'm very, the older I get, the more forgetful I get. I walk in a room sometimes, I'm like, why did I walk in here? Why did I come in the kitchen? Why did, <laughs> it's funny, but... Yeah, so you can use these how you like. You have that versatility. So this block says this week, and then there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on and so forth, okay? So I'm gonna make sure you can see that. And then next, you also get, which I mentioned before, these beautiful habit trackers. Oh, it's included. You don't have to buy it separate, it's included. Okay, so um, each habit tracker, you get one for each month. You have the name, the month is at the top. And then across here, you have the days of the week. And then you have the numerical days across here. The shaded parts indicate Saturday and Sunday. So let's say you wanted to track something like, oh, I want to work out or, you know, I want to eat right on these certain days or track how much, you know, di different things you can track. So you can write in what you want to track. Let's say go for a walk. Let's say you commit, I am going to go for a walk every day. So you can put go for a walk here. And then the days that you do it, you just check it off. That simple. And I have some more to show you about habit tracking. Oh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay. So next, this is what I want to tell you about some people are like, well, I don't know if I want a weekly inserts or a daily insert. Here's your daily format. I found, I've had daily inserts before, and I found that some of my days were blank, and I didn't use them all, and I felt like I was wasting paper. So I wanted undated dailies. So this can be used for daily. So you can put your date there, and I'm, I'm going to show you pictures and stuff on how to use these things on social media. And look at this. Let's say you have a full day. You got a lot going on for work. You got a lot going on. Just you got a lot, to, a lot of running to do. You're like, you know what? I need to write down everything I need to do today. And I need it not to be on these other pages. There's not enough room. So I need a whole day for the day. Here's your dailies. You can use these times. They start at 5 a.m. and end at 12 p.m. You can do time blocking that way if you like. You don't have to because also... It's divided into quadrants. So if you want, I like to use these as different sections. So I might have a section for work, 
a section for business, a section for personal, a section for my children. So you can either use the times or not, or you can use these different sections. But these are graph pages, which are really cool to use. <coughs> the next thing you get included are dot grid pages. You see that they're really light dot grid pages. Now, this is for if you need to be creative and draw something. See, with dot grid, you can draw a perfect square just by connecting the dots. So that's that's the beauty of dot grid. I love write on dot grid. I have journals with dot grid pages. So that's included. You also get note pages. It's, you don't have to buy a separate. It's included all with the compact inserts here. So if you just, you're at work, you need a page just for notes, you can come here and just use these as notes pages. You can put the heading up here. Or if you need to write list, okay, you can use this column to write, for example, a shopping list and just check it off if you want, you know, just or any type of list. So they can be used for different purposes. So you get all that in the compact inserts. Let's go to the next new item in the shop. And this is the fifth new planner arrival. We now sell notepads and not just any notepads. These notepads are sturdy. You can hear the, the cardboard is really thick on the back here. And it has a TP symbol here. They're lined pages and you get 50 pages in each pad that's being very generous because I looked around I do a lot of research when I design these things and I'm like okay what are other people offering they're not offering 50 pages I'm giving you 50 pages so let me show you how you can use this um, there are a couple of ways so if you get the classic binder and oh let me tell you something oh I gotta tell you something else about this notepad I don't want to forget to show you how it looks in here so if you need extra writing paper look it fits in the classic size it'll fit in any classic size binder long as long as you have a paper um, a pocket to slide it into like I just showed you there you see that okay now also let me show you this let me show you this so with the notepad I also sell, some people are into rings, okay? It's a personal preference. I also sell a ringless cover in my shop that looks very professional. This is ringless. And look, this also fits. So this will fit classic size binders, A5 size binders, anything that will hold a half letter page. Look how nice that looks. <clears throat> Yes, the, the notepads can be purchased separately. Yes, you'll see it on the site. And also, get this guys, is perforated. Look. So you can tear the page off. And when you tear the page off, if you want, you can put holes in it and it will be the same size as your planner pages. So I wanted to make sure you could do that. Um, the pages are blank on the back. Wanted to let you know that. But they have this nice gray design. Let me see if I can show you this up close. They have this nice gray design going around the edges here. Looks very, very attractive in my opinion. Very, very nice. And see, when you close this in here, that's how it looks on the side. Nice slim profile and the A5 ringless cover that we sell in the shop, okay? Some people like to get this, go to meetings, because it's real light and they can just take notes with this, okay? So that's the new notepad that we have in the shop that I think you will love. And the last item I would like to show you, so the sixth new item is, No, and this is right now the, the notepad. Someone asked if I currently have a pad for the compact. Sorry, I only have one for the classic size at this time. But I will work on that for next time. Thank you for your question. Okay, so next. Oh, guys, look at You're going to love it. I wanted to design some sticky notes 
that just cover everything. Again, just like the inserts, I don't want a whole bunch of sticky notes all over the place. I just want it. I call this the essential sticky note pack because this is everything that I feel is essential and what's needed. Let me let me show you what you get. Okay. First of all, you get this pad called balance. Okay. Now, now, now hear me here. Now on the balance pad, I think sometimes when I'm feeling unfulfilled and we've all felt that way before you ever just feel sad, like, wait, something is missing. I can't put my finger on it, but something is missing. I think it's because we're um, deficient in one area of our life when we, when we feel unfulfilled. So this notepad where it's called balance is to help you feel balanced in your life and to think about those areas that can make you feel whole. That's the intent so that you can think about all the things. Because sometimes we can be like so focused on work, we neglect our friends and family or something like that. So that that's why I designed this. So on the balance notepad, at the top, it says health and fitness. So you want to address, so you can write in, oh, I'm going to go for a walk. Family and friends. What are you going to do for family and friends? Oh, I'm going to call my brother. I haven't talked to him in a while. Romance and relationships. Um, if you like, you can put in something that relates to that um, date night or something. Personal development. Well, right now I'm studying at work for pro certification. So I'm like, I'm, I would put that there. Study for pro certification. Fun and fitness. What am I going to do fun? Well, I want to go to the movies. Um, spiritual. So spiritual doesn't mean just religious, but some people have a connection to nature and other things that um, that can go there in the spiritual. If all of these areas are addressed, it makes me feel more whole, more balanced, more put together. Okay, so that is that one. And let me go quickly. Um, then you have a notepad just just plain you can use as you like. It has it's gray with white polka dots. Then you have a shopping list. Now, this is so that when you run into the store, maybe you just got to grab a few items. You might want to just, you know, jot it down here and just take the notepad with you and then throw it in the trash when you're done. I like to use small sheets of paper. I used to like take a whole planner page with me in the grocery store. And then when I put it back in my binder, it's wrinkled. <laughs> so I was like, I just want a sticky note with my little shopping list for a few things. I do most of my shopping online. But when I do go in the store, I like to have a small list. Oh, guys, look at this. This notepad is a habit tracker. Now, if you have weekly planner pages, you're going to need this. Because sometimes on weekly planner pages, you want to track your habit. Now, I know my inserts include monthly trackers. But sometimes, you, sometimes turning to a new page... I won't do it. Sometimes I won't go to that page and update it. I only will update what's right in front of me. If I leave this open on my desk, this is what I'm looking at. So what if there are habits I want to track and I have this weekly format open? You can use you can use a habit tracker and put it right on your weekly format. Okay? It's, it's a sticky note. You can move it around if you want. If you want to write down here, move it someplace else. It's a sticky note. You can put the habit you want to track for the week and then just check it off as you do it. So we have habit tracker, sticky notes. Love it. Also, you have page flags. You get four. You get everything. This is the essential sticky note set. You get four flags. So like, let's say... You have a page that you keep referring to, and you just want a quick, you can just put that there, you know, page flag. Also, you have the little arrows. Now this, I like to grab these with a, um, a tweezer that I have around the house, but because because my hands are big and it's hard for me to get these off of here sometimes. So when I say tweezers, that means this. You don't have to do this, but I like to grab like the the smaller sticker stickers too, stickers and note sticky notes with a, just a pair of pleaser, tweezers around the house. So the great thing about this is that you can point to something important. Oh, I have a doctor's appointment. I don't want to forget. I don't want it to blend in with everything on my page. Let me point to it. Look at that. 
and they're reusable because they're sticky notes. You can write on them if you want. You can write on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, somebody's asking a question about the um, week. These inserts run from April this month. Um, if you happen to be watching this video on April, April 2023 through March 2024. Okay. And then you have a um, getting back to and then you have a banner here for important. If you want to flag something as important, there's a banner here on the sticky notes for important. Now, the cool thing about these sticky notes, notice this part over here, okay? Now, I didn't want to hold, I thought about hole punching it for you, but I said, no, people with different planter sizes may want to use this. If you like, you can hole punch this. I just used a hole puncher, punched holes in it, and guess what? It can fit... It can fit in your classic size binder. Look at that. Now, if you do this, I'm also coming out. This is a sneak peek. In a couple of weeks, I have a new release. And it's a size binder that I've never sold before in the shop. I'm so excited. That's all I'm going to say. And that's another reason why I didn't want to give you these pre-hole punched. Because... It will also fit other size binders, okay? You can just punch holes in it and put it like this. So when you put this in your binder, I do recommend because, you know, you got sticky notes there and you might be writing in your planner pages over it. In the shop, we also sell these clear page lifters, okay? These are sturdy. They're completely, they're like glass, but they're plastic and they're see-through. I would put the page lifters over this so that you will have a smooth writing surface when you're writing on your planner pages okay i would recommend that uh yes yes it will the classic size will have a monthly tracker added i'm working on getting that those printed by the way okay so oh wait so we're at the end. I sh I've shown you everything. Um, so those are the six new items that we now have in the shop. Isn't this exciting? And don't forget, use promo code uh, TanyaPlans20 so you can save some money. It's an incredible deal. And as always, guys, I appreciate your support. I appreciate this is both of the sizes. I appreciate your support. I, I appreciate you being on with me. If you if you have any questions, you can reach me through, through the tanyaplans.com website. You can reach me through social media. Um, you can uh, all over the place. Wherever you see me, you can, you know, you'll see a message button. You can send me a message. Okay. So please let me know if you have questions and that's all I have for you right now. So I hope you guys have a great day and talk to you soon. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.